Good morning, good morning to everybody. I pray you all had a restful sleep on last night. I pray in the name of Jesus that you're up and ready to give God your first fruit and to receive his first fruit in kingdom assignment for your life on today. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We thank you for joining us. We thank you for helping us to get to this point on this morning. We thank you for God and teaching us, leading us, empowering us, strengthening us, transforming us into the mighty hand of God to his word and his word and our spirits marry hallelujah emerge into one and that we will become who god has called us to be thank you for being hallelujah a willing and obedient vessel hallelujah in the name of jesus we love you on this morning guys welcome to commanding your morning our thought for today is let passion inform your prayers let passion inform your prayers hallelujah elijah was a man with a nature like ours and he prayed hallelujah earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months and he prayed again and the heavens gave rain and the earth produced its fruit James 5, 17 through 18. That's James 5, 17 through 18. Hallelujah. Let's go into the word of God. And I'm going to start at 13, guys. Hallelujah. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Hallelujah. And let them pray over him, anointing him with all, with all in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall rise up. Hallelujah. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The affectionate, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Hallelujah. Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are, and he prayed earnestly it, that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months and he prayed again and the heavens gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit hallelujah glory to your name pray one for another hallelujah you know support one another that your fruit may be brought forth hallelujah pray the the passion of Christ into one another. Pray what God has, hallelujah, ordained for each and every one of our lives. Have respect, have integrity, have um, passion for one another. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to your name. And pray much, much, much for each other and believe so that God can manifest in our lives each in every one of our lives we are connected guys we need each other we cannot make it without each other don't allow the devil to fool you you cannot make it alone you do you do need somebody don't allow the enemy to tell you you don't need nobody that is a lie from hell you need somebody god created us to need and to have to have each other we are not what we're like links we link into it's like a domino effect once one fall the other one it goes we have to have compassion and a heart for something else than yourself hallelujah in yours but let's learn to pray for one another and believe god's word and will will come forth and manifest in our life in jesus name let's go a little further into commanding our morning let passion inform your prayers. 
Life throws us curveballs and and through and though we have different backgrounds and per, and personal histories, we all have emotions, dreams and passions. When we are emotionally involved in a struggle, we tend to pray less rather than pray more. If we are to have overcoming prayer lives, we need to turn those emotions and passions into prayer rather than let them become a hindrance to it. Hallelujah. So those things that hold us back, let's make it become, you know, bring it out through passion of prayer so that it can manifest and we can overcome those hurdles, those stumps, those rocks, those hills, those mountains, hallelujah, that may come in our life. Let's turn the passion of prayer on every situation and for each other. In Jesus' name, guys, let's pray together now. Thank you, God. Father, cause my will to work in perfect harmony with yours. You have put the seed of transformation in my mouth. I will not let circumstances convince me that you are not able to meet my needs today. I will remind my circumstances of the greatness of my God. Like David, I will run to you in times of distress. I will not run away from you. My help comes only from you. Thank you for giving me an hallelujah, overriding sense of peace, love, mercy, favor, and the absolute assurance that you are in control in Jesus' name. Amen. Know that God is in control. Turn your prayer, your passion into prayers and trust God and love on one another and pray for one another in Jesus' name with passion and see the salvation of God. God bless you all. Y'all have a blessed day.